Hello and welcome back. This is round two, hotfix. Um, although I'm not sure how much of this was actually addressed by the hotfix and how much of this was just um, some configuration issue. So I have updated the Rabbit R1, it's ready to go. And now let's dive back into reminders. Um, let's start with the reminders that I currently have, which should be none. Show all reminders. Oh wait, that's not true actually. Here yeah. are your reminders. Correct. I did have that weird one, so now I can go in and I can actually delete it. So this works. Okay, no reminders. All right. And now we jump back in and we start creating reminders and see how that how that behaves. So first of all, let's pick a reminder that is in the past. So a time that has already happened, but where the R1 could infer doing it tomorrow. So for instance, I say uh, it's now like noon. So if I say create a reminder for 10 a.m., then it either tells me, hey, this is already over 10 a.m. today, or it will automatically create it for tomorrow 10 a.m. Let's see. Rem Ooh, what is this? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I haven't seen that one. Two rabbits on top of each other. Maybe some Halloween thing. Oh, dear. Let's see what happens. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. Remind me to take out the garbage at 10 a.m. Got it. I've created a reminder for nice. you to take out the garbage tomorrow at 10 a.m. I didn't say tomorrow, but it inferred that 10 a.m. is not today anymore. What I don't like, by the way, is now if I press here, it will delete it. <laughs> so, I mean, we can do this, but you see that this is not necessarily a great default because the... Alternative to get back to the screen. Let me, let me do that uh, one more time with a reminder for the future. Remind me to take out the garbage at 5 p.m. I've created a reminder yeah. for you to take out the garbage today at 5 p.m. To actually not delete it, I have to do one, two, three, three things. Three things to get back here and interact with the rabbit again. So if I want to create a succession of reminders, this doesn't strike me as a very good flow. Um, but at least it's shown correctly. Next reminder would be a one with a vague time. So let's try this one. Remind me to water the plants in the afternoon. Okay, I've created a reminder for you to water the plants this Monday afternoon. Okay. I wonder when it will remind me though, because there's no time given now. Oh, I can't go into the details for this. Wait, water plants. So all reminder. It seems water plants is just one of these notes, not necessarily reminders because I wouldn't know when this would fire. It doesn't say so. Um, then moving on to showing our reminders we already had. So short term reminders, like it's 12, 14. Remind me to take out the garbage at 12.15. Uh, that is now. Okay. The reminder time you requested has already yes. passed. It's true. Please provide a future time for the reminder. Let's do that. Remind me to clean up the house in one minute. Maybe that's better. Okay, I've set a reminder for you to clean up the house on this Tuesday at 12.16 p.m. <laughs> this was too fast but generally what will happen now is previously you just saw an alert oh you heard an alert rather and you didn't see anything on the screen which was like i mean you have no idea what the hell is going on so they have changed this now and you can actually see what's going on on the screen uh, we do this one more time actually remind me to brush the cat in one minute Okay. okay, I've created a reminder for you to brush the cat on Monday at 12.17 p.m. Okay, let's switch this off. Okay, now we wait. 12.17. Okay, there you go. So you see what's actually supposed to happen. Um, okay, let, me, let me just stop this. So you see brush the cat and under it is written again brush the cat. I wonder if you can have like a title and a description. Set a reminder to brush the cat for today's 6 p.m. description. 
make sure that I get out all the knots. Let's see if that happens. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. Okay, 6 p.m. Um, so you can give details. So that's kind of nice. Um, like the description. So I said description. Maybe you can also say details. So you can try that out if that works for you or not. But it seems there's like a title and a description. And um, yeah, that's kind of nice. And I'm pretty sure... Uh, I don't know if... Wait, actually, I don't know if they worked before we did because we didn't see anything. So um, we tried short-term reminders and we looked at an example. And now I would like to see past reminders. So let's give that a shot. Show past reminders. Give me a moment to remember. I don't have the capability to display past reminders. All right. Well, at least it knows it. If you it. need assistance with anything else, feel free to ask. So past reminders are not a thing. Which is okay, unfortunate, but okay. Um, now there's something like if you don't give a date time, so let's do that. And we just say, remind me to clean up the kitchen. Okay, I've created a reminder for you to clean up the kitchen on this Monday. Okay, now let's try. Show all reminders. Reminders. Okay, so we have the kitchen, the cats, the water plants that I mean the plants watering that don't have a time. So everything is here. I wonder if I can get only the ones that have no specific date time. Let's give that a try. Show me all reminders that don't have a specific date or time. Here are your reminders. Yo, that's not working. And it's strange because if I ask an LLM that, it would definitely be able to do that for me. And it would be able to say, okay, look here, you have, I don't know, five reminders. These have don't have a time so or, or uh, a date. So, yeah. But it's not working here, which is strange, which makes me wonder if this is really very specific instructions that are supported here. Specific voice commands that are reacted to, but they don't really... I mean, it's like a compromise, I guess, between uh, predictability of the outcome and um, yeah, variety, functionality, and so on. Generally, this works much better than the original release. So thank you for that hotfix that uh, made it usable. I want to say one more thing because it was pointed out in the forum several times. If you cannot hear, so if you're deaf, um, these reminders will not be very useful either, unfortunately, because you only can see them. Like you, you know, it shows you on the screen what's going on with the reminder. It would be nice to have some way to acknowledge the reminder so you can find that button here. It's not a problem. But then also be able to say, hey, you know, read me what the reminder is about. So that'd be nice. Um, other than that, this is it. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.